Good evening and welcome to this new tutorial in Dynamics, uh, Lecture 4. Uh, in this tutorial, we are dealing with uh, a motorcycle going from point A to, and to point B. And the, the motion here is needed to be described in, with normal and tangential axes. Um, the tangential component of the acceleration here was given as a function of S. And, and it is required here in this question to determine the speed and acceleration when the motorcycle reaches point B. Uh, and you can see here that the angle between point A and point B is 60 degrees, and the, the, the radius of curvature is the same, is uh, 150 meters. Uh, first, we need to describe the angle uh, with radians. So we have here theta equals to 60 degrees and uh, to, 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 to calculate it in radians we need to multiply, multiply it by, by and divide, uh, divide it by 180 and this equals to by over 3 and secondly we need to, uh, to calculate for the path for the S for the distance that the motorcycle uh, went through from point A to point B here this value uh, this this path so s here equals to rho times theta rho is the radius of curvature theta is the angle so rho is 150 multiplied by by over 3 so we get here 50 50 by secondly uh, we get advantage of the relationship between the velocity and the position and the acceleration without the need for time uh, we have here V uh, dV equals to A dS. This, this relationship is the third, uh, is the third fundamental relationship that was uh, uh, given in the beginning of this course. Uh, uh, with this fashion, uh, we need to integrate both sides of this relationship between uh, V naught, we have this value, is not and S. Um, uh, we uh, first we need to substitute uh, uh, with the value of the a here to be as a function of s uh, the initial velocity was given to be 40 at point a so we just say 40 and uh, the s naught which is s a it was equal to zero and uh, we say here we have uh, the integration 40 v v dv equals to um, a minus 0.05 s ds from 0 to s. Integrating both sides will, would, would give us this uh, half v squared from 40 to v and this equals to minus 0.05 s squared over 2 from 0 to s. Substituting and rearranging everything would give us uh, this v squared equals to uh, minus 0 0.05 s squared plus 1,600. And the the ultimate relationship between the velocity and the position would be this value 0 0.05 s squared plus 1600 so finding the velocity at any position is is this is this relationship so at point B at point B we already knew that the distance that this motorcycle went through is this this is this is at point B so we simply take this value and substitute it here and VB here would, equal to, would be equal to uh, minus 0 0.05 50 by squared plus 1600 and this would uh, be equal to 19.17 meters per second so this is the velocity at point B now for the acceleration we just simply take this uh, relationship to describe the tangential component of the acceleration, uh, we say a tangent. Sorry, a tangential here is equal to is equal to minus 0 0.05 s, 
at point B, we just simply substitute and say minus 0 0.05 uh, times 50 by would give us minus 7.85 meters per second squared. For the normal component uh, of, the, of the acceleration, a, no a normal at point B is equal to uh, velocity squared at point B over rho at point B as well. V at point B was already calculated, so we just simply substituted in this relationship 19.17 squared over 50, and uh, this uh, would yield uh, 2.45 meters per second squared. Now, we uh, from these two values we can uh, get the, the the magnitude of the acceleration at point B. And we say uh, minus 7.85 squared plus 2.45 squared. And uh, the acceleration at point B at this point would be equal to 8.22 meters per second squared at point B, of course. Uh, in some questions, sometimes uh, it is required to find the the, 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 the direction of the of the of the acceleration at a certain point so we can just simply uh, uh, draw uh, a simple diagram for the particle at point B like this and we have here the particle and we define and put the, uh, the, the, the the axes like this so the tangential is just simply is almost like tangent to the path and we make uh, make it uh, make, 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 make it looking like this so this is a positive tangential accelerated positive tangential axis and the normal to it is the normal axis um, in this way so we define first the axes and in this way we have here the minus uh, the minus tangential axis we have here the minus uh, normal axis and uh, we have here uh, the acceleration in, 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 in the tangential axis it is this fact so we just uh, plot it here we'll draw the the um, the arrow that describes the tangential uh, part of the acceleration 7.85 and for the normal acceleration is around like 2.45 so we have here the the two axes that describe the acceleration of the particle at point B so this is 2.45 and uh, finally we just need to uh, define the axis uh, the, uh, the define the angle between the uh, between the, the between the acceleration of the overall acceleration with the tangential axis. So we say uh, theta equals to tan uh, inverse uh, a normal over a tangential. And taking these two values, uh, tan inverse will be equal to, we can just uh, take this value as it is without the minus sign uh, divided by, I'm sorry, uh, a normal 2.45 sorry this 2.45 divided by 7.85 and we get this value 17.3 degrees so the angle here is the angle between the overall acceleration and the tangential axis so we have here the overall acceleration the magnitude of the acceleration and this is the angle between the magnitude of the acceleration and the ten the minus uh, tangential axis uh, 17.3 uh, degree. Um, thank you for watching.